Second grade teachers Lori Kirk and Sarah Gussie use the creative movement and the choreography strategy to help students understand the stages of the life cycle. We have been studying life cycles in science, and we've studied a lot of different kinds of life cycles. And today, you guys are going to get to describe the stages of a life cycle using creative movement. Use of a life cycle worksheet helps small groups to plan their choreographies. I already put down tadpole media. Okay, well let's talk about it. Let's go medium. through all together to so make sure we're on the same page. First one, egg. What kind of level do you think low. we might want to do? Low. Okay, so let's write low. Students show their understanding of various non-locomotor movements as well as levels of movement in their final choreographies. She would have some beans. So she watered a little bit more. She sprouted into beautiful bean sprouts. When students reenact the life cycle, their engagement with content soars. Learning through the arts is learning that lasts. Mm -hmm.